are cantilevers so dangerous? Not so much if you are designing it in the right way. However, I get a lot of questions around its safety and today we here we will look at such a question. Hi, this is Premjit here from Civilera.com. I already have a video on cantilever here and then I keep getting questions and comments on this video and here you can see one question from somebody called Saluto. He says, Dear Civilera, I want to build a brick pillar under it so as to support it. Can you share info on how to join the top part of pillar with a beam so um, you can see here a lot of questions from him before as well how to provide support for a previously built five feet cantilever beam please reply he already have an existing cantilever of five feet which is around 1.5 meter which is not very significant until and unless it has certain shortcomings with respect to its support and scheme and uh, I engage with him and I try to understand the exact requirement but then I'm not sure why he wants to prop it maybe a safety reason but then here is the question finally that I got I want to build a brick pier under it so as to support it so my discussion today is going to be on that aspect of supporting the cantilever is it really safe to do it in all situations so consider that you have a cantilever which is existing and it is something like this it could be a free cantilever or it could be a continuous beam and then a cantilever whatever it is so now the question is is it really okay all the time to build a pier or a support on this so now to understand that or to validate that let's quickly sketch the reinforcement detail it could be a slab it could be a beam whatever it is so generally when you have a cantilever like this it is likely to have more top reinforcement and at this support there is likely to be an additional reinforcement if it's a beam and if it's a slab it's going to be a closely spaced reinforcement at that point or an extra bar in the same layer now the bottom rebars especially around here will be very minimal and if it is something like a slab there can be situations where the rebars are really nominal so if it's a slab and if it's something like say this a freestanding slab something like this and uh, if it's a pure cantilever this may be the detail and the bottom reinforcement if the thickness of the slab is really not so much there can be situations even when there are no rebars at the bottom because the bending moment diagram as you all know is something like this so you have a moment here and you have a zero moment here and at the bottom you don't have anything so all these are at the top so you need steel at the top because the tension is at the top now if this is the case or even consider that you have a minimal reinforcement at the bottom now you are introducing a support here now introducing a support is like changing its behavior so the moment you introduce a support there this is going to be something like this so this moment that you have here is going to be reducing and uh, this remains zero since it's simply supported and here this moment at the span is going to increase simply put the behavior of your beam is changing when you're introducing a support so now will that be a problem it depends if it's just a five feet cantilever which is something like 1.5 meters and then you already have a certain reinforcement there which is good enough to take care of this behavior that is when you change the behavior and you already have certain reinforcement which takes care of this particular moment then nothing is wrong that will still continue to be strong and stable and most possibly you are wanting to support this at this end because you are foreseeing some problem here so that helps because your moments at the support is going to reduce but then that doesn't mean that you can all the time and at every place do this as a solution i only wanted to convey that we need to appreciate the change in behavior if we introduce something new so when this is a small cantilever of around five feet and if you already have a reinforcement here it may not matter but then if it's a very long cantilever and then the bottom reinforcement is not available then that can create some kind of problems for you i also want to say that this is not only for a cantilever this is the case in any structure you need to be able to appreciate what is changing when you introduce something new what behavior 
comes into play what changes is very important to make the final decision that's all for now thank you for watching i hope you like the video even if the point is a simple one